Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host, Cletus. So this is a ViewSonic VP2468. Uh, it's a, an LCD screen, 24 inches, covers like 100% of the sRGB color space. It's a low-end, uh, kind of low-end professional monitor. I have two of these, and they're great because they're used by like photographers and stuff because they have very accurate colors, good brightness. Uh, they're just really good screens and uh, the price is actually fairly reasonable for such a good quality screen and I do a lot of like web design and stuff so gotta have you know accurate colors and that sort of thing so the reason this guy is uh, sitting on my bench here is because I managed to completely destroy it <laughs> um, the way that I destroyed it is by simply trying to clean the screen so first I'm going to show you how I managed to destroy this lovely monitor and then I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how you should properly clean your screen so that you don't do what I did. Okay, so the other day I turned the screen on and what I saw was this. Um, it had a bunch of lines down the middle of the screen and I went, oh dear, what the heck happened? Now these, uh, my two screens are about three years old and I thought, well, geez, you know, I thought ViewSonic was a good brand, like maybe they just die after three years and, you know, I'm sitting here thinking about it and going, well, this is a little bit weird. And then I noticed something at the bottom of the screen, right near where these vertical lines were. And I looked at this little, it, it looks like a chip in the screen or something. And I thought, what the heck is that? It, it looks almost like somebody took an ice pick to the screen. And, you know, I don't remember stabbing my screen recently. So I took a closer look and here you can see it's like, it's not really a chip. It almost looks like it exploded out from the inside. And What's that kind of like light brown thing? Oh, Jesus. Is that a ribbon cable that I see through that little hole there? And that's when I remembered that when I was cleaning the screen, there was a drip of a uh, cleaning solution that went down and touched the bottom bezel. And that's when I got this sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. And I went, oh, dear God, I think I destroyed my screen. So I did what any good engineer would do. I decided to take the whole screen apart and see if I could confirm my unfortunate suspicions. So this is a picture of the back of the screen. Um, the, the top of the screen is at the top of your screen and the bottom of the screen is at the bottom of your screen. And you can see at the bottom there, there are four ribbon cables and there's a red arrow pointing to one of the ribbon cables. Now that, ri that uh, red arrow is pointing to the exact spot where on the front of the screen, that little chip in the surface uh, is located. So of course here we zoom in a little bit more and you can see the specific ribbon cable that we're going to investigate. So all I did is I uh, removed that little circuit board there, that green circuit board, and I pulled it, uh, it would actually be towards you if you lift it off. And then I peeked inside. And that's when I saw the problem. So it's kind of hard to see here. Um, you can see the ribbon cable and there's this kind of like purplish layer that's actually between two layers of the screen itself. And there's my handy little pocket knife there. So let's zoom in a little more. And yeah, right there at the end of that ribbon cable, there's this little black blob. Um, yeah, that's a scorch mark. <laughs> so this is actually the second time I took the screen apart. Uh, when I decided to do a video about this. The first time, obviously, I was very careful. I used a plastic spudger. Uh, in this one, I it was impossible to take video, and even getting photos is difficult, as you can see by the blurry photo. The first time around, what I did is I didn't actually pry the two layers of the screen apart, uh, effectively damaging the screen, just so I could take this photo for all of you. Um, what I did is I shined the light in, and if you shine it in just right, um, you could see the little scorch mark. So basically what I did is I, I sprayed my liquid directly on the screen and I didn't wipe it off fast enough and a drop of the fluid went down here. Now this is a very uh, a thin bezeled monitor. Um, it's like the, the screen goes to, you have, you have just about like half a centimeter of uh, between the actual plastic here and where the image begins. So this little plastic guy at the bottom is is kind of like kind of like a right angle like this and the screen sits inside so if liquid drops down it actually pools around and under the screen that drop of liquid got in between the layers of the screen where the ribbon cable where the copper traces and the ribbon cable connect to the screen and it shorted 
Now, of course, if you don't know, like these screens have, uh, you know, usually three or four ribbon cables, and those ribbon cables contain a whole bunch of, of electrical traces, and um, it gets kind of complicated, but the reason is basically because you have to have all these data signals going to all the sort of columns of pixels, and there's little transistors and capacitors inside, and the little the little uh, little LCD, the, the pixels and everything, and there's electrical signals running everywhere. So if you get liquid in the bottom edge of your screen and it shorts one of these things out, it goes bzzzt, and then you get these lovely vertical lines on your screen. So yeah, that is how I managed to destroy my screen. So of course the question is, what is the proper way to clean your screen? Uh, right, the first thing is, you want to take your cloth or rag or whatever. Now, um, you can use any one. It should preferably be something very, very soft, uh, preferably lint-free. And some people say, like, use microfiber. And I've tried microfiber. I honestly don't really see the difference. It's really not right. Just get a cloth and make sure it's soft and clean and as lint-free as possible. And then you take your cleaning solution, which I'll talk about in a second, and you don't spray it on the screen because then you get a drip of liquid. And if you're a little bit preoccupied as I was the other day and you don't wipe it off before it drips to the bottom edge of the screen, you happen to destroy your monitor. So you spray the solution on the rag and then you wipe the screen. <laughs> Pat myself on the back for that one. Um, right, so that's about the, the kind of rag that you want to use. In terms of the actual cleaning solution, um, you can Google that as well if you want, and people will tell you that you should uh, never use glass cleaner because glass cleaner contains things like ammonia and alcohol and so on and so forth, and it's going to damage the fine, delicate layers, the anti-reflection layer on the surface of your screen. Some people say you should just use plain distilled water. Uh, I've never tried that, but I'm kind of doubting that distilled water is going to get the greasy fingerprint smudges off the screen. Um, some people say you should use distilled water with a single drop of dish soap in it. I just use plain old glass cleaner, which everyone says is a no-no. Now, I have been cleaning various types of computer screens and gizmo screens for over 30 years, and I've been using glass cleaner the whole time. Now, here we're talking like back in the days of like glass CRT monitors to the first flat panel LCD displays to modern LCD displays with glossy coatings, anti-reflect coatings. Uh, smartphones, tablets with Gorilla Glass 6 or plastic screens, whatever it is, I always use glass cleaner and I've never actually, until recently, uh, I've never destroyed the surface of the screen simply because of the type of cleaning product that I was using. Um, now, a couple more things there. Um, you do not want to actually put a whole lot of pressure on the screen. You want to just spray your rag and lightly wipe. Uh, some people say circular motion, some people say back and forth just whatever gets the gunk off the screen and makes it clean. The final thing to note here is that uh, if you're cleaning your screen like compulsively, like three times a week, well then yeah, maybe you want to use a specialized cleaning solution and not glass cleaner. But I clean my screen maybe three times a year. And one of the ways that I avoid having to clean my screen frequently is I don't ever actually touch the screen. Uh, I had, there's a funny story. I worked with a guy and he was you know, at my computer and he was, and he wanted to like always touch the screen. And I was like, dude, you, you, like, you're, you're pointing at this, right? You, you don't actually have to touch the screen because now look at the fingerprints. You know, he, had, he must have eaten like a greasy pizza or something because there's these smudges all over the screen. And he looked at me like I had seven heads and it was like, you're like really OCD about your screen, man. And I'm like, you, you don't have to actually touch it. You can, look, I'm pointing at my coffee cup. I don't have to go, this is my coffee cup, you know? And I, I tried to explain, and of course, you know, he thought I was weird, and I thought he was weird, and right. Uh, so just don't actually touch the screen if you don't have to, and then you don't have to clean it very often. Um, yeah. So that's how you uh, should actually clean your screen. If you actually have any tips or tricks about how you clean screens and, and smartphones and tablets and computer monitors and everything, I'm all ears because maybe there's a better way that I don't know about. Uh, or if you have any funny stories of your own, share them in the comments below. Right. I got a new screen. Um, this one is going to be recycled and uh, everything's, everything's fine again. But uh, yeah, um, don't spray the cleaning solution on the screen like I did because... It was pretty frustrating. 
For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.